Tracy and Jacqueline, the speaker is the highest ranking member of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. And right now, because Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman is now Senator Fetterman, the speaker is the second person in line to be governor. Now, on a daily basis, though, the speaker is the person who decides what bills come up for a vote. Ultimately, what has a chance to become law by passing through the House? We now know who that person is, but lawmakers are still figuring out how the rest of the process will work. I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity, with fidelity. Congratulations, Mr. Speaker. And with that, a surprise resolution to a Pennsylvania power struggle as a new House Speaker took office. Mark Rossi from Berks County, not a Republican, even though they had more members on the floor, not Democratic leader Joanna McClinton, who Democrats long hoped to make the next speaker. But while the bipartisan vote ended the drama over who would get the job, it does not answer all the questions about how the power struggle in Harrisburg will be settled. The Commonwealth that is home to Independence Hall will now be home to this Commonwealth's first independent speaker of the House. Rossi was elected as a Democrat but said he'll be an independent speaker. I pledge to caucus with neither the Republicans nor the Democrats. My staff will be made up of people from both parties. I pledge my allegiance and my loyalty to no interest in this building, to no interest in our politics. As speaker in a divided chamber where both parties could end up with the same number of members or close to it, Rossi could be a tiebreaker in votes. It remains to see though who is going to be the actual majority party. Yeah, how does that work? Uh, they have to decide that now. Mustafa Rashid is a Democratic consultant from Philadelphia. Is this disappointing, though, for Democrats Absol who yeah, I, had been planning absolutely. to have Joanna McClinton? Absolutely. And not just uh, for the history that it would have made as the first female speaker, um, but the nitty gritty, like who runs, who's the majority party, who runs committees, who are committee chairs, uh, who decides the floor agenda. That's where the real nuts and bolts here in ha Harrisburg happen. Rossi's pledge to be an independent speaker also interpreted in different ways. A high ranking Democrat has said Rossi told their caucus he's still a Democrat. But in moments after he voted for Rossi as speaker, Republican leader Brian Cutler. Uh, he indicated during his speech that he would switch his personal party registration. Rossi himself has said he considers Speaker to be a nonpartisan officer of the House. I pledge my loyalty to the people of the Commonwealth. Now, so I spoke with the Republican leader last night. I did ask today to speak with the Democratic leader and to the speaker today. And we'll keep working to talk to them so we can get more information about how governing in Pennsylvania will work now. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.